The sun, the heart of our solar system. It's as familiar as anything we know. Although the sun has been studied for millennia, it still holds unsolved mysteries about its effects on our daily lives. To better understand the sun, NASA is preparing to launch a spacecraft called the Parker Solar Probe. It will lift off from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station near the agency's Kennedy Space Center, located in Florida. It's a mission of unprecedented opportunities that could revolutionize our understanding of our star and the outer layer of the sun's atmosphere, the corona. Going into the sun's corona for the first time, going up close and personal with our star, to be able to answer some of the mysteries that live in this coronal region. Why is the sun's corona hotter than the surface of the sun? Why is there a solar wind? Why does this atmosphere, this corona, become so energized that it can move away from the sun at supersonic speeds and bathe all of the planets? Now that the Parker Solar Probe has arrived, it's time to get it ready to launch at the AstroTech Spacecraft Processing Facility. Today's an exciting day on the Space Coast. Over at AstroTech, we'll ready their spacecraft for launch. That'll include any final assembly, including the assembly of the critical heat shield. We're gonna be 24 seven helping the spacecraft get what they need to get ready for launch. The Parker Solar Probe will be the first mission to travel through the searing heat of the sun's corona. Traveling this close is only possible because of the spacecraft's protective heat shield, where temperatures on the spacecraft reach 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. So Parker Solar Probe is actually going and touching the sun. The previous missions have been really important for solar science as we study from afar. And we can learn a lot from studying from afar, but the Parker Solar Probe is actually going and touching, almost kissing the sun, so we can learn so much more. And to do that, it will need to go faster than any other spacecraft in history. Parker Solar Probe will be the fastest human-made object ever. We are traveling at an unbelievable 430,000 miles per hour. That's why, for the first time ever, NASA's Launch Services Program selected the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy rocket. Delta IV Heavy was selected for NASA Parker Solar Probe program because of the extreme velocity required to meet the mission objectives in orbit around the sun. Going out and seeing the Delta IV Heavy on the pad is a truly awe-inspiring experience. Just seeing that amount of raw power right in front of you is just incredible. Three boosters, our second stage, and then we have a third stage. We're a tiny little spacecraft. We look like a little hood ornament on the top of the Delta IV. Get ready to watch this historic mission lighting up the space coast as it thunders into the sky to get up close and personal with the sun. T minus three. Engine start. Two, one.